It's time to get nerdy. Time to turn on the stats for nerds on desktop. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe start creating. Now I am a self-confessed weird facts and stats nerd and there's a very special feature just for me and for you hidden in YouTube. The stats for nerd feature will give you frame rates, Kodak rates, sizing, those kind of things and it's all hidden in plain sight in the desktop version of YouTube's browser functionality. Trust me, that's not easy to say. I fluffed that up in that video two or three times. But if you're a statsy nerd like me, I'm gonna show you how you can find it. Let's go to the computer. But before we deep dive into this, this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. It's an online browser-based plugin that can help optimize your titles, your descriptions, your tags, get you more views, get you more subscribers, and generally take away the grind, the day-to-day -day tasks that you just can't be bothered with. It also links up with their mobile phone app in which you can check your stats on the go, communicate with people, and just generally level up your YouTube game. There is a link in the description below on how to install it for free. Okay, so first of all, you need to go to a video that you'd like to watch. Now, in this case, I'm using one of my own videos as an example, but it will work on any desktop video. You hover over the main body of the video, and on desktop, you right click. As you scroll down, you'll see Stats for Nerds. When you turn it on, this little box shows up in which it shows you video ID, viewport, in which it's the size thereof, current versus optimal resolution, the frame rate it happens to be in, the volume, whether it's normalized, or how loud it happens to be, how much it is addressed, the codecs that it is currently using, the host, the connection speed, the network activity, the buffer health, and how many frames are dropped while streaming. Now, all of these may not be your bag, but if you are hunting for these kind of things just for understanding, if you're an analytics nerd, if you're a stats nerd, there's all the facts that you'll have and easily available at your fingertips. Now, to turn it off, simply click the little X. For more hidden features on YouTube and how to use them, I've done a playlist up here. Remember to hit that subscribe button for regular YouTube tricks and tip tutorials. Go out there, start creating.